And the Bible tells us in Matthew 4, 4, you know, Jesus was speaking to the devil when the devil came to tempt him when he was in the wilderness. You know, the devil came to tempt Jesus when Jesus was so weak. You know, when the devil knew that Jesus was so weak, when the devil knew that God's flesh was so weak, that's when he came to tempt Jesus in the wilderness. And Matthew 4, 4, you know, in this verse, Jesus is speaking God's word back to the devil. You know, the Bible is telling us in Matthew 4, 4, it says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. You know, we as people, and by the way, when it when it says man, it's referring to both male and female, just to, just to, um, to clarify that. You know, as God's children, you know, we cannot live by food alone. We cannot live by social media we can, alone. We cannot live by people's words, but we live by, but we live by God's word. God's word is what gives us true life. God's word is what causes us to, to live, not because we, we eat every day or because we speak to a particular person every day or because we're on social media every day. These things don't cause us to, to live or I should say to truly live. But when we read God's word, we are truly living. We are truly alive because our spirit is being, is being fed. When we read God's word, God, the word of God washes away and takes away everything that does not look like Christ inside of us. The word of God is cleanses us from the inside. The, the word of God takes away jealousy, envy. The word of God just takes away everything inside of us that does not look like Christ, like God, you know? That's when we're truly living. When we live, when we, when, when, when we, when we are feeding ourselves with the word of God, we need to feed ourselves with the word of God, consume the word of God every single day. So I encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, to do that. God bless.